Naderia Watson Envelope by Lux Algo is becoming a very popular trading indicator here on YouTube. A lot of creators make videos about this tool and claim that it works really well on all markets, its signals are super accurate and there is no reason why we shouldn't use this indicator in our trading. So in this video I will backtest this magic indicator 100 times with the goal to find out its true win rate. For the backtesting I will set the initial account size at $1000 with 1 to 1 and a half risk reward ratio. For all the people asking me what backtesting service I'm using, it's called Trader Edge and it's officially the best backtester on the internet. Thousands of new and professional traders using Trader Edge to get an edge on their competition. Trader Edge is three times faster than a traditional backtesting method. All you need to do is to set up your initial account size and the profit and loss per trade. Trader Edge will give you all the information you need about the strategy, such as the win ratio, the profit and loss, the maximum drawdown, the profit factor, and more. You will also find some other useful features on their website, such as the position size calculator, which can be really handy for those who trade Forex and commodities, the profit and loss calendar where you can track your trading performance and make some important notes, and the indicators and strategies menu. Here you can find and download some super accurate tools for MT4 and TradingView platforms, and they've all been proven to work. If you're not entirely sure how to backtest, no worries, you will get a full step-by-step -step backtesting plan which has $100 value. If you're not sure how to build a profitable trading strategy, no problem, you will also get a full course on how to build a profitable mechanical trading strategy which has $270 value. And if you sign up right now they'll throw in four pre-made high quality strategies that have $100 value. So that's around $500 worth of bonuses all for free but only if you sign up right now. Trader Edge has a 7 day free trial so there is literally no risk at all. So go ahead and check it out, I will leave a link in the description below. Ok I'm going to be testing this tool on Ethereum USD chart on a 15 minute time frame. And now let's click on the indicators tab and search for Nadaraya Watson envelope. As I said the indicator is quite popular, it's got over 6000 saves. This indicator is based on kernel smoothing with integrated alerts from crosses between the price and envelope extremities. This tool is very similar to the Naderia Watson estimator. Let's actually add that indicator to the chart. As we can see the Naderia Watson estimator is just a regular baseline. Every time the line changes its colour, the indicator issues buy or sell signals. The Naderia Watson envelope though is a bit different. This tool outlines extremes made by the prices within the selected window size. This is achieved by estimating the underlying trend in the price using kernel smoothing, calculating the mean absolute deviations from it, and adding or subtracting it from the estimated underlying trend. We can expect the price to reverse when crossing one of the envelope extremities. Crosses between the price and the envelope extremities are indicated with triangles on a chart. For real-time applications, triangles are always displayed when a cross occurs and remain displayed at the location it first appeared even if the cross is no longer visible after a recalculation of the envelope. If we take a look at the indicator signals, we can see that they're super accurate. However, if we replay the chart, we will notice that the indicator acts in a really strange way. If you've been paying attention, you probably noticed that we did not have these long signals right here before replaying the chart. Also notice how many more long signals the indicator issued. We also have a bunch of short signals that appeared all of a sudden. So yeah, this basically tells us that the indicator is repainting, which means it changes the data from the past, which in my opinion is quite bad, because if you backtest this indicator without using a replay tool, it will literally give you a win rate of 85 or even 90%, and if you skip the forward testing phase, you're risking to lose quite a bit of money. Now you might be asking, can we still use this indicator even though it's repainting? And the answer is yes we can, and now let me show you how. So for a long signal to be valid, the indicator must print a green triangle below the price action and this signal must appear no later than one candlestick. This is very important because if the indicator issues a signal a couple candlesticks later, it cannot be considered as valid. So in this case we will place a buy order at the close of this next candlestick. In order to determine our stop loss, we need to be using an indicator called ATR. We're going to place our stop loss at the distance of two values of the ATR. You can see the value on the right hand side, it says 10.55, so our stop loss will be set at 21 pips away. And we're going to be targeting one and a half times the risk.
for a short signal to be valid, the indicator must print a red triangle above the price action no later than one candlestick. As we can see, the triangle appeared one candlestick later. So we will place a sell order at the close of our trigger candlestick. The stop loss will be set at 2 times the ATR. The value is roughly 12, so our stop loss will be set at 24 pips away. Also notice how the indicator prints new signals in the past when the envelope is recalculating the data. We see a perfect short signal was issued right here. We can see right here as well, a long signal appeared a few candlesticks later. Let's actually replay the chart again to see it one more time. So here we can see a long signal was actually valid. Notice the indicator did not print any signals to go long right here. But as soon as the envelope has been recalculated, the signal appeared on a chart. Okay, now we know exactly how to work with this indicator. So let's actually do our backtesting to find out its true win rate after 100 trades. Okay, the backtesting is finished and the win rate for this indicator is something I expected. It's only 41%, which is quite bad. And after 100 trades, we increased our account size by only 2.02%. The profit factor is 1.04 and we had 8 consecutive wins against 6 consecutive losses. The maximum drawdown for this indicator is 23.67%. So these numbers are basically telling us that the indicator is clearly not making any money. Despite all these uninspiring results, I still have a hope to build a profitable trading strategy with this indicator. So the goal is basically to increase the win rate from 41 to at least 60%, which is quite a bit of a challenge. Okay, so after spending hours and hours of testing, I finally come up with something really decent. This is basically a combination of two trading tools, Netheria Watson Envelope and Squeeze Momentum Oscillator. By the way, in the star section of the envelope, I did remove the lines. The Squeeze Momentum Oscillator settings are on default. And the reason I added the squeeze momentum is to confirm the signals given by the envelope. Okay, now let's understand the rules for entering a long trade. Okay, so a signal to go long is only valid when these conditions are met. First, the Nadaria Watson envelope has to print a green triangle below the price action. And again, the signal needs to be printed no later than one candlestick. Second, the very next candlestick needs to be bullish and it needs to be engulfing as well. Which means that its body is bigger than the body of the previous candlestick. Third, the squeeze momentum oscillator has to turn from red to dark red and the dots need to be white. This indicates that the momentum in the price action is changing from bearish to bullish. If the squeeze momentum did not catch up by the time the envelope issued a long signal, we can still wait for it to catch up. In this case, we can see that the conditions are met and we can safely enter a long position. Our stop loss will be set at the recent swing low and we're going to be targeting one and a half times the risk. Okay, let me give you one more example for a valid long entry. Here we see that the envelope has given us a long entry. The following candlestick is bullish and it's engulfing. The squeeze momentum oscillator is still being red and now we're simply waiting for it to switch to dark red. All right, we see the indicator finally changed the color. Now let's understand the short positions. First, the Netheria Watson envelope has to print a new red triangle. And again, the triangle needs to appear no later than one candlestick. The following candlestick must be bearish engulfing. The squeeze momentum oscillator has to turn from green to dark green. The white dots also need to appear on the indicator. Our stop loss will be set at the recent swing high. And just like with the long trades, we're going to be targeting one and a half times the risk. Okay, let me give you one more example for a short trade. So we see we have a signal to go short. The very next candlestick is bearish and it's engulfing, but the squeeze momentum indicator hasn't caught up yet. Okay, this is where we have an entry. Okay, now let's do our second backtesting to see how well the strategy holds on in different market conditions. So 
So the backtesting is finished and the win rate for the strategy is 64%. We also gain 220% of profit on our account. The profit factor is 2.67 and we had 12 consecutive wins against 3 consecutive losses. The maximum drawdown we had was 5.88%. So yeah, we definitely achieved that goal. The strategy is making money. By the way, traders, if you want to improve the strategy even more, you can add a third confirmation indicator. If you're struggling to find a good one, feel free to check out this playlist right here.